this video, I'm going to teach you how to design a boat, a small boat on Rhino 7. First, let's decide the dimensions of my boat. I'll say that I need my length overall to be 28 feet. So I go there on the top view, top line, start from zero and make sure it's 28 feet and then hit OK. All right, so um, after that, I decide my maximum width and then my minimum one. So my max my maximum width is going to be third the length overall. So we'll go there line. And it's going to be one third multiplied by twenty eight. Okay. Then I go make it in the middle. And then I want it to move third this pace. One third divided by twenty eight is going to be there. My minimum length is going to be the quarters of the lengths of all. So it's about by 28. And that's also in the middle. After that, I go to um, the interpolated curve here. And the start is going to be something like that. Also, the other side. Then, um, to make my next water line, these are going to join together and then hit offset to be one feet distance all right so it's going to be like that i go to the perspective view and tab line right here from the origin and this is going to be 0.1 multiplied by the length overall, which is 2.8. Uh, the distance here is going to be 0 0.1 multiplied by 2.8. It's going to be like that. Um, I'm sorry. Um, zero, enter. 0 0.1 multiplied by 28. All right, so I also need that to move downward half the distance of my depth. So my depth is going to be 2.8. I need that to be the half of 2.8. Negative to move downward, 2.5 multiplied by 2.8. All right, so it's going to be like that. I'll do, I'll draw a next line to be horizontal and go there and also hit line. I want that to start from here and then go there in the middle. Let's turn the mid on. 
Okay, so that's in the mid. I go to the front of you and say like that. It extend. All right, that's the way it's going to be. Let's just split this one. This all from here. Um, here it's going to be zero point six multiplied by length overall. So let's delete that one line. It's going to be zero point six multiplied by the length of all, which is twenty eight, and hit shift to make sure it's uh ortho. And then I also go there, the interplated point, interplated curve, and here, and finally here. All right, so let's hide this one. And I'll go there and select this one and split this into two pieces. Something like that, All right? Uh, I need these to be exploded so I can um select both of them, and then I'll go surface sweep to rail, select my two rails, and then my um uh, my surface to be generated, and then I'll go to the shading mode. I can select here from shading mode, or I can. Um, hold on, control alt plus s, control alt and s to be the shaded mode, or control shift, uh, control alt w to go back to the wireframe. So I'll hold on, control alt and then s to get to the shaded mode. I'll flip this surface. And then I also need to split this line to be like that. Okay. And then go to surface, sweep to rails, my first and second rail. I need to join these together. Okay. So, um, sweep to rails, select this one. And that one and my cross sections to be like that. Flip. Okay, the the next uh the next step I'm going to do is going to hit line and from the end here to there. Okay. And I go to the, I can make these with two uh, or more commands, but I'm going to use the planner curve because that's planner, something like that. <clears throat> and then I also go to a sweep to rails, hit this one, this curve and this curve and my cross sections. And I'll hit OK. So I'll select all of these, uh, right? And mirror them on the x axis. And then go to filter, hold on Shift key, and select on surfaces, all right? And hit Control A to select. Um, I'm sorry, just tap on, uh, hold on the shift key, say surfaces, and then control A. <clears throat> so uh, here I just selected the surfaces. I'll join them together. And then go to solid. Go into cap planner holes. So if I select my... Uh, my boat is going to be closed solid. I can go to the details. It's going to be um, a valid pulley surface. 
and closed surface, uh, closed solid polished surface with nine surfaces. So um, that's what I want here. Okay, after that, I can just uh, select my boat, all right, and select a bit of view. Let's say that's my view to be, and then make 2D, all right. Uh, make sure that it's going to be third angle projection and the hidden lines. And then I'll hit OK. It's going to take some time, but um, it's going to be like that. This is my uh, 3D, 2D, the two view, the profile, and the body plan. Let's go to the Need that to be like here, and then let's just have um, let's put my dimensions here. I got my dimensions, something like that, and also from here to there, 1.4. Let's delete this one, okay. I know. Go um from here to the total length, and also from here to um can just draw a line from here to here and move it one third. One of the three and subdivide by twenty eight. It's going to be like that. Right, so this is going to be nine point thirty three and then from here to here it's going to be eighteen point sixty seven. All right. So, um, let's move those to, the, to here, all right. And then I'm going to select the annotation the same way and go to um the style here and pick the foot inch so it's going to be like that okay then um my final thing i'm going to print this control p all right, this one, I have my hidden lines. And I can also go um black and white. And here, select the window to be like that. That's my window. And hit enter. So this is going to be my window. And hit. And make sure if I want that to be... Uh, a PNG or image, I can select that from here, or I can just select the PDF, and the PDF is going to ask me if I want that portrait or landscape. I'm going to use the landscape, and then hit print. Um, that's going to be on the desktop, and I want that to be a small boat design. Uh, all right. Save. Okay. Um, just close that PDF. And I also can make the same thing, but for uh, an image. Okay. Print. 
let's save that small boat design image save and here we go after that i can um if that's going to be from aluminium uh boat i can take this one okay um Here the a rectangle is going to be um two meters by uh six meters. My length is going to be um or my my length is going to be nineteen point six width is going to be six point five right so that's my sheet of aluminium. Two meters multiplied by six meters. All right. So I go to the perspective view. All right. And then I'll explode that and select the first surface and go to surface, surface flattening. And then I'll hit smash or squish. So I go to smash. Enter. That's the smash. So if I want that to um to view. I can just use this. right and then i'm going to split these together and split that using this okay and i'm going to take that here and i can also take these questions please uh ask me in the comments down below um and i hope you guys like it yeah.